Hello and welcome to another video from Wildland Saw. Just wanted to go over a quick review of OLEC. That is the U.S. Forest Service's guide to uh, falling and bucking. Uh, so just a reminder for everybody, um, OLEC is O-H-L-E-C. And um, I would also add uh, additional C's to that, um, those being complexity and some others that we'll talk about on a separate video. But uh, for the standard OLEC, uh, just a reminder that its uh, objective is the O. So how, uh, how can you get the job done safely that you're kind of tasked with doing? Um, so what's your objective? You know, am I going to lay this tree down here or I've got a sidebound tree that I want to clear from a trail? Uh, what's my objective? How am I going to uh, do that? Hazards um, is H and that is lots of things like um, any widow makers in the area, snags, um, and some things that we don't necessarily think about, sometimes the human factor, right? So are you tired? Are you fatigued? Is it some sort of a training environment where there's a professional or um, a, uh, an expert, maybe they're making um, um, choices that might be not something they would normally do uh, because it's a classroom setting. Um, environmental hazards, uh, cutting hazards, uh, things with the saw um, that may be not operating correctly. Um, and then um, L for OLEC is uh, leans and for bucking, binds. So leans and binds. Um, and so in that case for falling, you know, is it a, is it a, is it a heavy lean one way or the other? And obviously the lean is dependent on what your objective is. And so determining that, um, for bucking, um, we look at, you know, kind of things like top bind, bottom bind, side bind, um, things that, uh, are going to affect our, our, our overall cut. Uh, and then, uh, E for escape routes. And I would say, um, uh, for bucking, it's more of a kind of a safer quadrant, uh, knowing which of the typically the four quadrants you would be for bucking. Uh, for falling, um, it's the standard kind of 45 degrees um, f uh, from your cut to the back, um, uh, making sure that it's clear, uh, getting a you know a, a good safe 15 foot or 20 foot uh, distance away from the uh, stump, um, things like that. And then C uh, is the cutting plan. And that's basically what we think of when we're doing falling or bucking is how we're actually gonna make the cut. Um, can you, you know, is it just, uh, do you have a long enough bar so you don't have to do any double cutting? Um, is it gonna be a, some sort of special hinge or hinge thickness because of the material of the wood? Um, are you, are you, uh, do you know the, the sequence of your cuts and, and how it's going to play out for you? Um, when it comes to bucking, kind of, you know, are you going to take the material that's on the offside and work back towards you? As it, um, and just kind of knowing that plan. Um, and then this is not part of the current um, U.S. Forest Service, but the, the second C of that is complexity. So overall, uh, just looking at the the overall complexity of the the objective that you're taking on and seeing if that is something that's in your wheelhouse is it uh are, a are you certified to that level um i know we've kind of moved away from uh you know just diameter uh of uh, of the logs to more of a complexity uh for your abc cert um, so it's just kind of a continuation of that in a more specific and thought out way. Uh, so yeah, just a quick reminder on OLEC with an extra C. And again, um, I'm adding some more C's um, in, in a separate video. Thanks for watching.